Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today back for another episode of the dungeon series The brand new game mode that is now on the channel and is gonna be a staple on the channel for a while I really really enjoy this game mode But of course you guys already know we are on royal.enchantedmc.net If you guys do want to come check out the server Please consider using that custom IP because whenever you guys do it does directly support me in the channel So I greatly appreciate it and for any bedrock players if you want to come try out this super unique game mode as well Don't worry you can still play the same exact server I'm playing because this is Java and Bedrock compatible so the Bedrock IP and the Bedrock port are gonna be linked down below in the description and guys in today's video I have no plans besides literally just leveling up and rebirthing becoming overpowered as much as I possibly can okay if you guys have been keeping up with the series you guys know I'm a little far behind because I had a super busy weekend so I didn't really have very much time to play but I am going to be trying to catch up now there's already people who are like re Rebirth 63 on the server, which is absolutely insane. But listen, I have some pretty overpowered items. And in the last episode, we did some pretty good upgrades. If I do slash sets, we did get ourselves the full mutant set. But I do have to start actually upgrading this thing. And I just realized, bro, these sets are insanely cheap to upgrade. I thought that they would change the shard amounts here on dungeons. But it looks like they didn't. It's like the same as like Skyblock and Gens. And yeah, we might actually be able to max out this full entire set right now now which wasn't even planned for the intro but uh, if we can afford it we're absolutely gonna do it we might be a little bit off um no boom full entire set fully maxed out and done if you guys don't know this is giving us a boost towards our enchants and our sword so it's absolutely huge with all of those upgrades we should be leveling up a little bit faster as well but yeah that is literally the only goal for today's video if i do slash boost our money booster is currently sitting at 645 x multiplier which isn't good at all i am going to be real but today i'm going to be playing basically Basically all day grinding up as much as possible. So right now we are at stage. I think this is stage seven. Yeah, stage seven. Let's go ahead and get some brand new companions right here. We can roll 50 of these things. Bang. And I'm pretty sure it just insta does it. So taking a look, let's equip the best ones. And now we have straight stage sevens. But before we just equip these guys, someone left a comment on one of my videos. There is companion. Oh, wait, no, not companion upgrades. This we can't really upgrade until way later into the season because our essence production is kind of in the dirt at the moment but in today's video hopefully we get to like sword level 200 i think that's what i'm gonna be aiming for because with that we're gonna be able to add two more crystals to our sword and right now since i'm not like super far progressed or anything i am focusing currency crystals to make the most amount of souls and the most amount of essence possible to max out my sword enchants so right now we have an 86 percent enhancer a 99 percent soul magnet and a 90 percent soul boost once we hit level 200 i am going to be adding an essence magnet and a essence boost to the sword as well just because my sword is so far behind and i literally need to catch up as quickly as possible but yeah anyways off topic let's go to the companions fusion right here apparently there is a fuse all command and i never knew that was a thing so hoping it just fused for us got too many companions to manually fuse click this and fuse all five of the same companions that you have just saves me a little bit of time so right there you guys can see we now have some shinies the zebra is still going to be normal because getting five zebra is relatively rare but like some of these we can still manually fuse um like four does this work boom that actually worked and that should be an upgrade right boom yeah now we have a rainbow chicken in there so there's definitely still some things you can do manually but for the most part this is just going to save us a lot of time and we can already afford the next rebirth so let's do that only rebirth two on the season i know we're super far behind but trust we are going to be making progress really really fast and a ton of it in today's video also guys don't worry i am making sure to continuously pop these boosters okay i need to be using boosters every single time that i am grinding and right there from a couple of kills upgrade our sword boom straight to a stone sword just like that slash zones let's move on to the next one and really quickly let me take a look at my money multiplier now boom just like that we went up to a 1.7 k money multiplier which again at this point is still terrible but it is just going to rapidly snowball in today's video keep in mind our starting point was a 600 x multiplier we'll see where we end off today's video also in the last episode as well i did end up getting a lightning four perk which basically just boosts 
your attack speed and, and wait your power up in your zone has despawned in no way guys i didn't even show off the power up update in the last video i don't even know what the power ups look like but basically power ups spawn in your zone every 10 to 20 minutes and you can pick them up and it literally just boosts like your sword xp your damage your souls your essence whatever it is think of it as kind of like black ops zombies or call of duty zombies you know you can get like an insta kill you can get a new all that sort of stuff that's kind of the way i see it but yeah definitely want to show off some power ups in today's video because i forgot to in the last episode but yeah basically guys i'm going to be spamming as many rebirths as possible whenever i'm manually grinding and then whenever i go afk we are just going to be farming souls and essence in today's video and look at that bro death cure right now i just unlocked that enchant and it does so much damage we have this thing fully maxed out 15x damage multiplier whenever death cure procs it does an insane amount of damage to the mobs like right there boom i don't know if you guys are looking at his health bar whenever that stuff procs but it goes absolutely insane so that's been a pretty massive help to us so far and we're already back up to 5 billion souls i guess i should get some of this rage enchant oh my god that is only worth 50 levels dude not even 50 levels jesus christ okay we unlocked Firebolt. I'll throw some souls into that just so we can start getting some procs of it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to take a cut right here. I am literally just going to go on a fat grinding spree for a couple of hours. We're going to be spamming as many rebirths as possible. But obviously, every single time you rebirth, it does get progressively more and more expensive. And rebirth upgrades, we are just upgrading our enchant proc rates right here. So I'm going to take a cut. We're going on a fat grinding spree. I will see you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, back for literally just a quick little update clip. We are already rebirth six. And I think right now, wait, slash zones, how much is it to get to the brand new Western zone? 69. Okay, wait, no, we can actually afford that. What am I talking about? Boom. We have just made it to the western world or the western zone i guess i should call it so first time being here this season i swear i've only been grinding for like maybe 45 ish minutes not a long time at all still popping making sure all of my boosters are going at the same time we are flying through progression right now i don't know what my goal is for this episode dude but definitely i just want to get a ton of rebirths make as much money as possible already guys again we started the episode off with what a 600x multiplier we're already at a 20k money multiplier and right there we can actually already hit another rebirth but before we do that i'm gonna stack up a little bit more money we're gonna go back to zone 10 and then buy ourselves some more companions but right here both delete i think we should just delete like most of these pets to be honest because i already like maxed all of the upgrades and fusions on them so if you guys are manually grinding honestly you're not really making a ton of souls well it's because i'm farming rebirths right now but it's kind of hard to make souls whenever you're just farming rebirths this fast so i think in the future rebirthing is gonna pay off a ton but right now if we do slash g top guys we are currently the ninth richest uh guild on the entire server which isn't great but like i said i didn't i didn't know if we were really even comping this season bro wow soup bowls is fifth these are some like pretty good players there's alum soup bowls hype man dom there's some very good players here and they're only fifth so it looks like i've never even seen these guys in my entire life and they're number four these might just be like straight dungeon mains i'm not sure could be wrong but that is really insane to see all of the comps so not is g top number one okay yeah missed a couple days but hopefully right now we are really really lacking in the money trophy department we're 17th place on the entire server so that's pretty bad i definitely got to keep progressing through these zones if i want to make any sort of difference in that department right now we're nowhere near helping out the cell or the guild but hopefully by maybe not even by the end of this episode but like by the next episode hopefully we're starting to make some dents in some of uh in some of the currencies but with this we should have just unlocked a brand new western bundle and we did and it comes with a cowboy companion could be worth to cop this oh there's no loot boxes no loot boxes in this bundle is crazy for 1500 credits yeah cowboy companion is not worth 1500 never mind we do have this rebirth 5 bundle but we should be getting like a rebirth 10 bundle here soon as well and i don't really know if i need to continue uh opening apocalypse loot boxes because i already had the mutant set which we pulled from the last episode on the very first crate we ever opened which is insanely lucky but yeah just not sure if it's worth it and right here we've spent some time grinding so let's actually just open up 50 of these companion eggs and can we do another 50 screw it do that because we should be able to kill these things relatively fast and boom there we go oh wait actually screw that let's go ahead fuse all the companions we possibly can and then equip the best boom all brand new companions now slash boost we were just at what 20k now we're at 38k almost doubled our multipliers just like that and we're gonna be able to rebirth right after this kill boom rebirth seven is here we are flying through progression bro and wait 
there was a rebirth seven milestone oh i just got a windows notification hopefully that wasn't too loud and we got all of this stuff another hundred credits you know what just give me everything i'll take it rebirth wise money multiplier wise we're flying through progress the only thing that we're not flying through is our upgrades we only have 10 billion souls currently can we max out door oh boom door is now fully maxed out which is great to see you can actually prestige these enchants but i'm not gonna worry about prestiging just yet sword is level 141 so still not doing the best but right now let's go ahead and uh throw some souls on the rage enchant because we literally have zero uh levels on it don't know i was kind of throwing in that aspect but boom almost fully maxed it out right there and then first upgrade already 31 million dollars we get 54 mil per chicken kill dude that is nuts so yeah just wanted to record the clip of hitting the western zone for the first time this season and i think maybe we might be able to make it to the candy zone in today's video oh this is one of the power-ups enchant power up 13 percent run over power up to collect that almost despawned bro we had a couple of seconds left but boom now we're going to be getting a 13 percent increase on our enchants which is actually pretty massive and i did already learn because i uh, ran into a couple of power-ups off camera you don't actually have to stay in this zone to keep the power up the power up just lasts no matter where you go so boom if we max upgrade teleport over here we are still going to have the enchant power-ups so really really cool update and again it just rewards players who are actively grinding instead of players who just try to like afk to the top you know but anyways guys back to grinding we're already back to stage 10 just like that i will see you guys in one second all right guys we are back and um i've actually been doing my strategy to like make some souls and make some uh essence i've basically been afking for a while because i went to the gym i've edited two videos and now i am back online we grinded out a couple rebirths but you know i did all of that stuff and now i'm back online to grind more rebirths but basically i've been sitting here afking for quite some time so if i take a look i have 300 billion souls 6.5 billion essence and not only that our our tool is now level 245 so so far i think we're doing pretty good but we should have unlocked like a bunch of new enchants right here we have a reaper enchant chance to instantly kill a mob that falls below a certain percentage of health i don't think this is like the greatest enchant of all time oh my god well it's damn near the most expensive of all time jesus christ i'll get like 25 levels and then oh my god we've unlocked phantom swarm no way bro phantom swarm i'm not gonna cap to you is godlike dude i remember this one right here we're dumping all of our essence into this and wait can we we max it out oh my god we can boom max out already again there are like prestiges and stuff we're gonna worry about prestiges later into the season right now we're just worried about getting our sword like kind of caught up oh, boom phantom swarm completely maxed out is going to be an insane enchant now let's go look at the souls already maxed out rage max out all of these right here boom we max out uh thor off camera as well fireball i think is like okay so i mean it's only 31 billion we're gonna hold off on that just for right now because this one the firebolt says it's a 5x damage multiplier but the archer that we just unlocked which is brand new is a 30x so how expensive is this it is 50 billion pretty hefty but we're gonna go ahead and do it i don't know if archer is great i'm just being honest and then right here we've also unlocked slime bunny we've unlocked bleed oh my god no way we've unlocked the warden guard enchant one of the best enchants on the server i believe and we're about to unlock rain as well so listen i know warden guard is dumb expensive okay 211 billion souls which is almost the rest of our souls but dude it's just so good especially whenever you're like oh wait it's gonna proc right here now this isn't gonna do any damage because i have a wooden sword but i guess i can just like max it out and boom warden guard should have killed every wait oh it didn't because i upgraded it too late that is highly unfortunate but basically warden guard damages every single mob that is standing here which is absolutely amazing i love enchants that hit every single mob bro because they just help you progress so much faster and i believe rain it does do uh damage to every single mob as well chance for rain to spawn dealing damage to all mobs yeah we're gonna get that at level 250 we're almost there but now we're like dirt poor bro we have 50 billion souls left over i guess we get some levels of some of these other enchants we'll throw like a couple billion over here on bleed slime bunny um level 100 is the max so we'll do like 50 levels of it and there we go i think we keep everything like that for right now because again we're about to uh get to the rain enchant and i definitely want to throw some souls into that as well but now that i'm back online it is really late at night now but i'm gonna grind out at least a couple more rebirths before i go to bed and then the next clip probably gonna be tomorrow morning we'll see we'll see how far we've actually gotten and stuff like that but so far the progress in this video has been pretty amazing in my opinion also slash pass as well i haven't even really been focusing this which is kind of a bag sell like we gotta open up normal keys open up enchanted keys i should have a grip yeah we do i should have like a ton of these keys right now because i haven't opened them 
literally all season and oh wait we got pet boxes hold on these do have a chance to go crazy definitely ripping all of those open we're gonna save these crystal boxes for right now because i don't feel like opening them but that was just uh the enchanted keys we got another 90 back open all of those we have seven monthly crates 740 normals boom there we go bunch of pet boxes i should have probably opened these up a long time ago not gonna cap but it is what it is we're opening them now and it's always better late than never and just like that we're already back into the western zone again but yeah anyway slash pass bro let's go ahead and claim all of these rewards because i have a ton of these as well and we're getting like books of experience books of rarity some more like sword perk rolls but i don't think i'm gonna roll my sword perks for quite some time if i'm gonna be real i think the next time i roll my perks i am going to be going for something purple and you guys know the odds of getting that is relatively low so and wait a minute bro slash crates is that even oh my god 2.5k rusty keys is insane work um luckily that or some of it went into our crate claim right there we have seven mermaid ranks dude what the hell and yeah slash pets we're gonna go ahead and have the pet fuse a ton of this stuff and we're probably gonna have a bunch of basic pets that you can't actually fuse so we're gonna have to delete them and wait guys hold on the guild is discussing right now we have fallen off of g top but it's mainly again because of our money production but yeah i think it's mainly because we're all like low rebirths for the most part no one's really reached a high rank right sorry guys i'm getting sidetracked talking to the cell but basically i think we all don't have like damage perks and stuff we all have the attack speed which is why we're eighth place in souls eighth place in essence and then just literally 23rd in money which is absolutely insane but right now i think that's fine because i know we're all working on our sword levels as well and attack speed is helping with sword levels i'm behind because i missed a couple days but you know i think we made so much progress in this video already and oh my god wait what the hell i forgot to re-equip my pets bro that's on me let we now have an enchanted plus soul pet enchanted essence pet and wait hold on we can use one of these books of rarities on boom another enchanted can that make an enchanted plus essence pet yes it does that's beautiful mythical wait oh no enchanted tool pet let's use another book of rarity on this one to make an enchanted plus tool pet right there and we have so many books of experience i'm actually gonna dump it on the tool pet bro because i need more tool levels asap don't want to use all of them though definitely want to get some on our soul pet right here and our essence pet probably mainly our essence pet to be honest yeah wait our essence pet is a really low level let's go ahead dump all of the books of experience onto my boy right here bang there we go now he is caught back up and now our soul pet is a little bit behind but it's all good now guys what i want to focus on is since we are now tool level 200 we now have two more active crystal slots and again you guys know for right now i am turning my sword into the best possible sword to make currencies so i don't have any damage crystals or anything literally i'm just farming out souls and i'm farming out essence so right here we have ourselves a 98 essence magnet which we are going to add we don't have a whole lot of dust left so i'm gonna have to go on a bit of a tinkering spree which always does suck because that takes literally forever and just like that 99 if this doesn't work i jump out of a window boom there we go but the only thing that we're missing is like a regular essence crystal i never got like a good percentage one so i've just been tinkering every single one i got luckily we have 28 tries right here to try and get one and yeah see this is only like a 69 bro that's just like so bad you know what i mean i just don't really want that i would love like at least bare minimum an 80 percent and up this one 88 percent. all right we can work with that let's go ahead spam open the rest of these i don't also i also don't have a new crystal so i'm gonna hang on to that just in case it's like super good in the future i do have a really good penetrate crystal the only problem is we haven't unlocked that enchant yet so boom there goes all of our boxes and yeah 88 percent is gonna be the best crystal that we got we're gonna have to go ahead and tinker up a decent amount of dust to make this thing 100 percent so i'm gonna take a cut give me one second and there we go 99 success again if it doesn't work yeah i would have ended it all boom there we go bro this is what the sword is looking like again not the greatest but for right now this is a very solid setup to make ourselves some extra souls and some extra essence so super proud of this we're definitely gonna be afk in this overnight but i might throw on the lucky block skin overnight i'm not really sure if i need any other crystals because my crystals right now i think i have some pretty decent ones but i definitely have some that are lacking and just like that wait bro i just hit a brand new sword the royal sword bro i was about to say i mess with the way this one looks it's because this is the royal sword bro it's literally my sword but yeah no this thing is actually pretty tough i can't and already rebirth but i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna stack up a little bit more money in this zone and then we're gonna go back to the fifth zone and go buy ourselves some more uh companions to hopefully tear them up and oh my god bro warden guard just cleared like all of those mobs back there probably gave me a ridiculous amount of money that's what i mean dude enchants like that are just so beautiful can't take them for granted so for right now let's slash zones i don't know how 
how expensive the fifth or the 15th zone like freaking companions actually are so i did turn off the animation toggle so i can't just go stand next to this thing and i believe it buys like companions for me just makes it way easier and it's looking like the companions might be dumb cheap brother i don't know oh companion storage is full so now let's go ahead unequip everything we're gonna go ahead companion fuse fuse all of that and then step back onto the scale until we start running out of money here bro because we're a little too rich maybe i should have went to the other zone but i was assuming i probably couldn't afford those but maybe i could have it's all good maybe we just get ourselves some insane tier fives like all rainbows across the board that would be uh that would be great that would be ideal oh my god wait i can just stand next to this thing and spam fuse until it uses all of my money that is actually great bro i didn't know you could do this i'm just going down until we can't rebirth anymore and then we'll stop because i might i might already be at like max pets bro i don't know um no we still only have like a couple shiny cowboys so we can definitely try and get better that's just really really rare but this is an absolute speed run way to get yourself some better companions i love this and there we go now we're starting to run out of rebirth money that's whenever we stop fuse all and then um yeah just equip the best boom bunch of cowboys we have one rainbow three shinies and then a void donkey and a rainbow donkey you know what we're just gonna stick with it let's walk back over here and get our rebirth money and yeah just rebirth and get out bang only took two mob kills slash rebirth thank you very much spend our rebirth points keep forgetting to do that and now guys i will give you an update on what our money booster is looking like we just did fat upgrades again started today's video with 600x multiplier and we are currently at a 900 000 x multiplier almost a 1 million x multiplier towards our money so guys i'm gonna go ahead take a cut right here again i did say it's pretty late at night so i'm probably gonna pass out here pretty soon and then just hit the afk mob but uh yeah i'll see you guys in one second all right guys and like i said in the last clip um we grinded for like maybe another hour it was super late at night okay but i am rebirth 19 and i have been afk overnight and i currently have 800 billion souls 62 billion essence also i got a start of the world loot box i don't know from where but i guess we'll just drop this thing down i literally think there's absolutely nothing we could possibly win from this but screw it dude we'll go ahead and run it anyway also i have switched to alpine client and oh wait a flamethrower skin honestly i think the flame thrower skin gets a lot of hate but i kind of enjoy it i'm not gonna cap but anyways i have switched to alpine client because look it will actually show me my souls booster down here i think these are globals the 33 minute 2x i think that's a global but the three minutes left on the 2x are my personal ones so i can really be on top of all of my boosters right now which is absolutely amazing but yeah dude if i take a look at my sword level because we have afk'd overnight bang level 314 and i believe at level 350 that's whenever you lock the main like important damage enchants and you can really start to snowball with per or rebirths i almost said prestiges so we have made up a ton of lost time bro a ton of progress i have been receiving comments on how i level up so fast and literally you just do this you progress to a zone that you can't kill the mobs at because they have too much health and you have a wooden sword that does one damage and yeah you just swing at them and then with the lightning meta you're going to be getting even more swings in and with more swings you know obviously you're going to get more xp from enhancer and your sword level goes up quicker and it's better to do it in here because at the afk mob you actually swing half as fast as you do in here so doing it in here you get double the xp i think the mobs do reset like every 20 ish minutes so you can't fully afk it but that's basically what i've been doing guys and i think that's gonna do it for this video in the next episode we're gonna be spending all of these souls all of this essence and probably hitting sword level 350 maybe even higher than that because like at level 400 we're gonna get zombie apocalypse black hole i don't even know what we're gonna be doing in the next episode but i am super hyped here pretty soon i'm gonna be switching my crystals all the way over to damage enchants so that way we can be rebirthing even quicker but even still right now i can rebirth pretty quickly i just fully edited this video so that's why i'm here afk right now so anyways guys hopefully you did enjoy today's episode we made a ton of progress we still have a lot more we got to make but i think slowly but surely we are climbing the leaderboards to try and get back in the race of actually you know helping out our cell on g top if i do slash g top now we're still ranked 13 24th place in money but we're making progress okay like the guys right above us is i'm hacking cell and i know i'm hacking from multiple servers and we are gapping them in souls and in essence but they're just gapping us in money straight up so i think we focused on leveling up our swords and we probably made more souls and essence that way and they focused rebirths and that's why they have more money that's my theory i'm not 100 sure but anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode if you did drop a like sub if you guys are new obviously come check out the dungeon server with royal.enchantedmc.net and uh, yeah i'll catch you guys in the next episode of the Dungeons series.